Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hur. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. I'm back on the AB. I've cleaned it, and I've repacked the spring barrels. And this is a very tiny spring barrel, and this underpowers, I personally believe, the machine, because this is only a two-inch wide spring barrel with a half-inch wide spring. And this is like... Man, they could have put a bigger spring barrel on this thing to make it run a little better. So how are we going to assemble it? We don't want to use oil because once we put everything in these holes for the pinions on the gear trains, that little piece right there, we don't want to see little dribbly oil running down the side of the beautiful nickel. So what we do is we use the illustrious green grease. So the first gear you put in is the governor drive gear and drive pulley shaft. So we're just going to take a dab of green grease and that's going to go in just like that. Now you can get confused when you do the spring barrel because the drive gear here has to come to the outside of the machine. So if the mandrel is here, this is the outside. You have to have it on the outside. And I got confused because I went test fitting and I went, oops, that didn't work. <laughs> so you have to have the gear on the outside. And it doesn't take just, just a dab. And this will go in here like that. And there's a nut that goes on the back of the spring barrel back here. You don't put that on now? Nope. And now we're going to insert this one. Because originally they used a little bit of grease on these. See how all the gear train hooks up? And now this is the hard one because this one, this gear here drives off the spring barrel and this gear here runs your lead screw that's all under here hidden. And I do put just a little around the gear for safety. That should be enough right there. Now this one, because there's a gear under here on the lead screw that that fits onto, so you can pick this up. And there we go, you, you'll see it right there. And that's how you put it together. Now you're going to have to wiggle all these pinion holes to all these pinion holes and insert the governor. And to do that, you're going to have to start to come in here like this. And then you're going to get a little bit of play with a side casting here, the motor, and you're going to put the governor in, and then you're going to kind of go like that. What I usually do on these is I get this all together, and I gently set it up on the bench like this. And now this all goes into here like that. And you, you have to kind of wiggle. The gears will wiggle a little, but once it starts hitting, it'll just go clink. It's very difficult. But you have to remember, when you take it apart, how the gear train looks. You have your smartphone, you take a picture. You know, this is a lot of fun, and that's my tip for the day.